to Down and Up. I'm your host, t Bax, and like always, we're here today to discuss innovative answers for life's tough money questions. Today, our panel will talk about new and innovative ways credit unions can grow members and help consumers. But first, let me introduce you to our panel. First, we have Kathy. She's a busy mother and who makes most of the financial decisions at home. She brought along with her her charming son, Chris. He's just about ready to finish college and he's excited to live on his own. And a special guest, Lamar. He's the CEO of Lego Credit Union and he's gonna share a little bit about what he's doing to help out consumers just like Kathy and Chris. So, Kathy, so let me, tell me a little bit about some of the challenges you're facing at home. Well, I am super busy. I have work, kids, errands. So when Chris wants money in a hurry, and he always wants money in a hurry, I have to go someplace that's inconvenient, I pay ridiculous fees, and uh, those fees are starting to make a dent in our household budget. Ah, that's frustrating. Well, you know, Mom, I live out of state. I text you in the morning when I need money for gas, and you don't get back to me in the afternoon. It feels like forever. It's not that long. Come on, Mom. It's not that long. Come on now. <laughs> Between the two of you, I think, Lamar, tell us a little bit about what your credit union is doing to help out consumers just like Chris. You know, T-Bax, we've been working hard to connect with people like Kathy. 80% of credit unions, ours included, are looking to grow our membership through communities, making members out of people who come by the branches every day but would never think to stop in. But I'll tell you where they do go. They go to places like grocery stores, drug stores, convenience stores, places like that. And we've been thinking about that, T-Bax. How can we create an experience that would make the credit union difference more mainstream? How do we get our value proposition in front of more consumers? We've decided to take an unconventional approach. We wanted to make a credit union product that we can put into retail outlets, something that people would be familiar with and that they can find in places that they frequent much more commonly than our local branch. So wait, tell me a little bit more about that and how that works. One word for you, D-Bax, prepaid. We've partnered with 10 area credit unions. Can you? Hello? Am I on? Can you hear me now? Did you hear the word prepaid? I'll take it from there. <laughs> we partnered with 10 area credit unions to launch a prepaid card that we call Alpha Card. It's membership on a hook. It has low to no fees and it comes with a slick mobile app that Kathy and Chris can use to manage their funds. And it's really easy to get cash on the card, but here's the real kicker. We offer a cash incentive of up to $100 for any person who would convert their prepaid card into a checking account. And we give them that cash incentive of up to $100 for doing so. Huh, well wait a second, tell me a little bit more about the actual process here. Credit unions sign up to participate in the Avocar prepaid program and we work to activate distribution of the cards in the retail stores. Okay. Once we've done that, consumers can buy the cards in those gift card racks that you'd find in places like Target or Walgreens or even Walmart. Oh, the big racks, okay. Exactly. After a consumer has purchased the card, then they go online or they can use their phone to be able to activate the card. And it's here that we promote the benefits of credit union membership as well as offer them that incentive for switching from a prepaid card into a checking account. Now we think this is a really good idea, but of course we're a little biased because we thought it up. So we decided to hit the streets and find out what people think about prepaid cards and what they think about a program like this. Well, yeah, let's go ahead, let's take a look. What we're doing is a survey about prepaid cards. Have you heard of prepaid cards? Yeah. Okay, good. If you were in a store right now, okay, and you had to choose between these three different types of prepaid cards, which one would you pick? We have low fees, piece of adding money, higher than average savings rate, and free $50 when you activate your account. Which one from high to low is most important to you? 50. You like the 50? Okay. And I like that. Okay. I like that. Um, the lower no fees. Okay. Ease of adding money. Wonderful. Now to you, what's the most important benefit? I think no fees. No fees. The first one, especially being a college student. No fees. No fees. And the reason why I say that is because I have a prepaid card. Okay. And with every purchase that I make, it's a bill with them. Ah, and it gets, it, it gets to be fees. Active. Okay. And okay. when I withdraw money, it costs More me money. More fees. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. Good point. So you have actually used one. Do you have? You said you actually do have one now. Yeah. All right. I didn't know um, we needed authorization. Yeah, because this is just considered private property. Oh, okay. Uh, Let me get this straight. 
you're telling me that this product is going to be able to help credit unions increase their membership in the community. Now, it's also going to make credit unions more accessible. It's also going to help those younger consumers like Chris, you know, get, manage some of their finances, but also be able to help people like Kathy. I'm pretty impressed. Let's go to a commercial break and find out some more. Round of applause. <laughs> We're 4i3, this is T-Bax, Lord Business, Queen B. What do we call you, Dreamliner, all right. The Rockstar Group. Exactly. Did you ask the question yet? And what were you presenting? Uh, the name of our idea was? Advocard. Advocard, prepaid. Great, tell me about, tell me about Advocard. That is all, Chris. <laughs> okay. So the whole idea is, you know, we hear data points all the time about, um, a small portion of the um, U.S. population knowing what a credit union is, and the current distribution model for credit unions is for credit people to figure that out and then come to us to open accounts. So what we want to do is put a credit union product in retail stores, so folks, you know, we're putting our product where folks are instead of having to wait for them to figure out what a credit union is and come to us. That's the whole idea. It's a whole distribution channel, a different distribution model for the credit union product. Specific to the product or just generally speaking? Generally speaking and specific to what you guys are doing. Well, we definitely learned, um, to, to Chris's point, that the majority of people have no idea you know, what credit unions are. So I think within the industry, we put a lot of emphasis on you know, credit unions, the credit union difference. But when you talk to Joe Average, does that really mean anything? And so to our point, how do we work to solve that? How do we sort of remove the credit union from the equation and put the benefit at the forefront, and then on the back end of that, be able to say, all right, now that you've seen this as a benefit, hey, did you know this benefit came from a credit union? And this is why credit unions are awesome. I'll add something to that. Because I, I think the one unique piece that I've seen is as we did some of that research, there's a lot of people that use these prepaid cards. And I was, I was thinking that, that you know, it was the, the member that we necessarily weren't gonna be able to help, but that wasn't the case. And high incomes and high education as well. So it wasn't just that, retail card that was going to be used as a payroll, cash it, and be gone. So I was actually surprised. That's why I, like the, I really think the product's going to work. Yeah, I think a lot of the data we learned, you know, it kind of validated there's a flexibility with the prepaid platform where it can be a product that underbanked or unbanked folks use. It can be something that a household for a, you know, middle class house uses to better manage funds, you know, with the concept or the example we had on stage where, you know, there's the kid at college who's out of state, um, you know, and then the mother who's, you know, feeding money to that kid, you know, can do that via this product. So it's, it's, there's a lot of flexibility with the prepaid product that, you know, can allow us to serve any type of member, you know, or person that would be, you know, interested in becoming a member of a credit union. Fortunately, we had Kathy as well. She's the glue. She's been the glue that's kept all four of us I'm together. I'm the glue. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. On point the entire <laughs> time. What have you, what have you so. learned about working with Chris and Joe? Yeah. Wow. 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 Lord business. No, um, this has really been a, a great team. I think um, we were really lucky in um, very cohesive, um, a great mix. Um, our numbers guy, our numbers guru, um, and then innovations and uh, marketing. And Chris had so much prepaid knowledge, it was wild. Scary. Um, scary, yeah, and scary none of wild. would have gotten done if Kathy wasn't so, running the whole program. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm the chief, chief nudger, that's my job. Chief nudger. And glue, so there we go. Yeah. Great. It was great.